The Negro Slashers also known as the RCPI Negro Slashers were a professional basketball team in the Metropolitan Basketball Association from 1998 to 2002. The team enjoyed considerable success, winning the NBA National Championship in 2002, the last season of the said league. The team was based in Bacolod, Negros Occidental. The team was named Slashers based on the cane knife slashing motion used by itinerant sugar workers to cut sugarcane stalks. Sugar is the main product of Negros Occidental. Bacolod businessman Oscar Didon Baskin and Babes Alvarez painstakingly formed a team composed of amateur standouts mostly from the Visayas Mindanao leagues and former professional players from Philippine Basketball Association. Ronnie DJ DiGiarlo was the first player to sign a contract with the team. Among the players that formed the team were Maui Hewler, Erwin Framo, John Adele Cardell, John Ferriels, Alan Sasan, and Jack Tonawan. Negrens Roli Buenafler was named as head coach. The Negro Slashers played their first two games on the road against the Batangas Blades and Manila Metrostars, losing on both occasions despite having a solid team with a mix of veterans and newcomers. Roli Buenafler was relieved of head coaching duties shortly after and was replaced by Junel Bakulai. But tragedy struck the team on the eve of their third game in Cebu City when their main player, DJ DiGiarlo, was found dead in their hotel room due to pancreatitis. Fueled by DiGiarlo's unexpected death, the Slashers won their first game against eventual our tribal Cebu Gems. Since then, the Slashers found their winning ways and became one of Southern Conference's formidable teams. But Bakulai left the team before the second round of eliminations and was replaced by Cebuano coach June Noel. The team also signed up Palarong Pambanza standouts Raynel Hugnaton, Ryan Gamboa and Leo Badov to bolster their front line. They were able to barge in the national playoffs and face the Cebu Gems in the first Southern Conference Finals, marred by numerous fan incidents on and off court. They won the series 4-3 and went on to face the Pampanga Dragons. But luck worn out on them as the more experienced Dragons won the first NBA National Championship. Negro Slashers team captain John Ferriels was named the inaugural season's most valuable player. The Negro Slashers were grouped together with the Cebu Gems, Iloila Volts, Davao Eagles, Sox Argan Marlins and Cagayan de Oro Nuggets in the Southern Conference Division. Things looked rosy for the Negro Slashers after winning the Southern Conference crown and finishing runner-up to NBA national champions Pampanga Dragons. They got the right to host the first NBA All-Star game which pitted teams from the North Conference against teams from the Southern Conference. John Ferriels, Jack Tanuan and John Adele Cardell proudly represented the Slashers for the South team. During the offseason, the management held tryouts for NBA players who were released by their mother teams. Among the new recruits for the Slashers were center Mike Otto, former Iloilo Volts forward Judge Primero, former PBA veterans Romy De La Rosa and Ruel Bravo. Former Pangasinan President's head coach Robert Sison was also hired as the team's assistant coach for June Knoll. The second season opened for the Slashers with them hosting the opening ceremonies for the Southern Conference in Bacolod City. However, they were beaten by the new-look Iloilo Megavolts in their first game for the new season. But the Slashers quickly bounced back by winning successive games against their closest rivals. With the Visayas division title at stake, the Slashers tried to qualify for a finals berth but were beaten to it by rivals Cebu Gems and Iloilo Megavolts, who eventually won the Visayas division crown. During the season's second round of elimination, the Slashers roster underwent a major revamp following the exit of star center Jack Tanawan, who suffered a kidney disease which left him blind in the right eye. The Slashers management traded backup center Mike Otto to Pasig Resol Pirates in exchange for bruiser Lito Aguilar, promoted backup center Raynel Hugnaton to starter status, and recruited two Phil Foreigners in 6-1 combo guard Dean Labion and 6-8 center Dorian Pena. Both players trace their roots to Negros Occidental. But Labion only played until the first game of the semifinal round as the Bureau of Immigration cracked down on Phil Foreigner players who were found to be fake or lacking work documents. The New Look Slashers were able to bamboozle their way through the elimination round but momentum slipped for them when they faced their arch-rivals the Cebu Gems in the semifinals. The Gems paraded 6-9 Phil and Matt Mitchell as counterpart to Pena. The bigger and more skilled Mitchell teamed up with Cebu's main gunner Dundon Ontiveros to lead the Gems against the Slashers en route to the Southern Conference Finals versus the Iloilo Megavolts. With the Slashers losing their Southern Conference title to their bitter rivals, changes were in order for the team. They released Lito Aguilar, hometown players Nonoy Seon and Ryan Gamboa, and Phil Emsdean Labion and Dorian Pena during the offseason. 
Paint Ant Gumboa found a home in Posse Grisal Pirates while Seon played for our tribal Cebu Gems. They signed up free agent guard Dennis Madrid, free agent forward Ruben De La Rosa and acquired forward Sid White from Nueva Ecija Patriots and Alvin Tang from the Laguna Lakers. A controversial coaching change happened midway in the first round of eliminations when longtime coach June Knoll was replaced by assistant coach Robert Cison. Although the change was welcomed by most Negros fans, there was a rejection coming from one of the disgruntled owners of the franchise. It almost caused a distraction to the team but eventually the conflict was resolved when Cison started to win games with the team. With a whole team playing inspired basketball the whole season, the Slashers were able to avenge the bitter defeat they experienced in the recent Southern Conference Finals against the Cebu Gems, who were playing without their main man Dundon. Ontiveros who already left them for greener pastures with the Tandia Rum Masters in the PBA. The Slashers faced a tall team in San Juan Knights in the third NBA National Finals but despite possessing quickness to make up for lack of ceiling. They were overpowered by the Knights in six games. Prior to the season the Slashers were merged with the Iloilo Megavolts as part of the league's streamlining operations. But unlike other merged teams that had strong lineups, the Slashers did not took in any players from the Megavolts team as it disbanded. However, they were able to sign up former Iloilo Megavolts player Michael Almonte as a free agent. The team also released Alvin Tang. The decision was made owing to his subpar performance during Game 4 of the NBA Championship Series against the San Juan Knights in 2000, he was pulled out of that game. Sat on the bench, untied his shoelaces and donned his practice jersey, and for not showing up in the following game. The team relied heavily on its regular rotation of Ferials, Cardell, Hewler, Bat Og, Hugnaton, brothers Romy and Ruben De La Rosa, white and newly acquired ex La Salle guard Dino Aldeguer, who was waived by the Alaska Aces. Just like the previous season, the Slashers again handily won the Southern Conference Championship this time against the TPG Davao Eagles. In their third trip to the NBA National Finals, the Slashers faced the LBC Batangas Blades but lost in four games. In 2002, TV broadcast partner ABS-CBN withdrew its support and funding for the league. As a result, the league had to be commercialized, allowing teams to look for sponsors. Negro Slashers found one in Remittance Company RCPI and was renamed the RCPI Negro Slashers, barely two weeks before the season started. Robert Cison resigned as head coach and was replaced by Joshua Villapondo. The roster underwent a major revamp as longtime Negro Slasher John Adele Cardell left the team to sign up with expansion team Olongapa Volunteers. New faces in the team included Jose Francisco, Tyrone Bautista and 6-10 former La Salle Green Archer Vincent San Diego. The Slashers became the dominant team in a league that was reeling from heavy financial losses. It was able to capture the NBA First Conference title where they exacted revenge on their rival in last year's national finals, the Batangas Blades. At the same time, their championship was dedicated to their former player, Jack Tanawan who died on April 4, 2002 after battling a kidney disease. The league stopped operations on July 26, 2002 due to continued financial loss. Because there was no NBA national champion declared for the season, the crossover conference championship won by Negro Slashers was considered an official NBA title, making them national champions by default. In the first season, the Slashers was color navy and white were used in 1998 season. In 1999 replaced with color red, navy blue and white in the second season. In 2000, the Slashers was replaced color blue, red and white contains with FedEx logo in the bottom of the Slashers logo. From 2001, the Slashers was color navy blue, blue and white. In the last year 2002, renames RCPI Negro Slashers in same color. Thanks for watching.